Hello and welcome to game two of the High Nice Cup best of five between Remind, who is spawning as the Red Elf in the bottom left, versus the Blue Orc Lin, spawning in the top right. So, last game, Remind did indeed win the game, so this is pretty much what uh, a good start for Remind, doing pretty well. And again, finding those spots for his Wisp to get into, and that uh, the Blade Master and the Grunts will not be able to attack, very good for him. Definitely something you want to do as an elf. As you can see down here, he's done it as well. Um, pretty much every map has them. I believe this is, well, this is Last Refuge 1.3, and I believe it has quite a few of these spots scattered throughout the map, like all maps, of course, but I think these are kind of um, fun ones. Good scouting positions for a lot of these. But anyway, and we do see that the Blade Master and the Grunt coming out pretty much standard, as we saw last game. ALW Creep pretty much standard, as we saw last Here's game, uh, as well as the Demon Hunter coming out. And just creeping right here. Not the greatest AOW Creep right here, because it's only going to be a little bit of experience. And But he can creep this and then come over here pretty quickly. So, uh, not really a bad thing either for Remind. Not really a bad thing at all. And it's not too bad for Lin either, because he's going to be able to come over here. And he will have time to come gank this if he uh, so chooses, and if things work out properly. And as you can see, he is actually going straight down as it start at the start of the game. He is going to go ahead and sell his TP and get pick up a circlet from the shop. He's going to go bottom, down to the bottom. He did not pick up a dust, so it looks like he's probably intending to go ahead and try to do some damage right off the bat before perhaps um, the elf is Player able to get to the nighttime. But he might be saving the dust for down here, or you know, when he has money. Uh, here it looks like he did go ahead and have to wait a little bit to buy the second circlet, so maybe he was waiting on gold. And he's going to go ahead and creep out this ogre magi, which is pretty much item creeping. Uh, one of the ogres not able to attack, but <laughs> it's crazy how much damage and how tanky these uh, blade masters are. However, since he's doing this, um, he is not going to be able to really do too much of a harass because he he really doesn't have a lot of life and he doesn't have any regeneration items. So he might be coming down here, maybe just looking to kill the archer if he can uh, safely do so, and he might not be able to do that. As you can see, he would take quite a bit of damage if he does, uh, but he is going to say, you know what, I can't come over here and I can't cancel this moon well because even though I'm low on life, uh, just one archer isn't going to be enough to stop me. And we do see a grunt coming in here as well. Uh, and this is Reminds Demon Hunter attempting to go for a mana burn, not quite fast enough. And here you can see that there is still enough mana for yet another mana burn on Lin. He's basically blocking this block off by standing right here. Uh, Remind can't build while that's there. And so basically Remind was just sitting there waiting for that to happen and as soon as the Blade Master moved pretty much he was able to go ahead and throw down yet another Moonwell and this allows him to have a blocked off base on the inside and he can pick up his Ancient of War and move it at any given time that he wants to. So here we can see uh, the Blade Master just running away. Here's the Demon Hunter going ahead and picking up dust and boots. Going ahead and trying to use his dust just to catch the Blade Master if he can. Unfortunately not quite fast enough. Uh, the Blade Master already quite gone. Going ahead and selling the Wand of Mana Steel, running away after buying boots, and he did get Mana Burned, but only for 9 right after that Moonwalk went off. We do see that the uh, Demon Hunter going ahead and attacking, getting one hit off on that Grunt. Free hits are not very bad thing. Uh, we can see that Healing Salve picked up for the Blade Master coming down here. He's going to go ahead and use it, and he kind of, I think, has a feeling that this is going to be happening right here. And in fact, he was right if that was what he was thinking, and he waited just long enough to come in here and really do some damage here to this creep. However, one of his grunts does get ensnared. Uh, it's taking quite a bit of damage, and it might actually die here, which would be unfortunate for Lin. But this blade, the Demon Hunter actually taking a lot of damage as well, so he might not be able to kill that grunt. He does kill the grunt, and now he runs away. Um, will he be able to get away? It looks like he's going to be just fine. And there is an archer right here. He's going to have to pick up dust to kill the archer. And it looks like we're going to see the dust is picked up. The Demon Hunter just getting a couple of extra free hits on that Grunt in the meantime. And a mana burn off. So well done with that hide on the Archer. Un unfortunately, he was unable to uh, hide it again before um, the Blade Master picked it off. And he did have dust, but it would have been nice to make him use a dust charge early on. Just like that. He won't really be having too many units later on in the game that need the dust charges, however, so it's not a big deal either way, I don't assume. Because um, generally when you go dot to the town, which we'll see right here, they don't have hide. One of the few elf Later units that do not have shadow mode. Um, so, there's that. One of the grunts being ensnared, this creep happening. Getting another one of the man Wand of Mana Stealings and selling it is 200 mana. It's 200 gold to sell that. You can see the Demon Hunter as well as the Beastmaster coming back into the Orc base. They want to do some harass. Getting some harass off on this grunt. Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess he didn't want to have that beastry cancelled, so he's deciding, you know, I'm just going to run a grunt away. And I, I believe that's going to be sacrificing that grunt. 
Uh, it's going to be very hard to keep that Grunt alive at this point. So that might just be what we see happening right here. Oops, sorry. Uh, mouse control happened a little bit of an issue there. Uh, he might be just trying to wake up these creeps to force these uh, heroes to take a bit of damage. You can see that happening. He does get the deny off onto the uh, from the Grunt, so it doesn't actually give them any experience. The creeps kill it, which means, of course, no experience goes to Remind. Beastmaster being chased down at this point. It was really well done by Lin, though. However, his beast his beast area as well as his spirit lodge and none of his burrows being harassed whatsoever while they go up. So that's nice. We can see a speed scroll and endurance order being picked on the Torn Chieftain, which is what you expect for level one. Uh, of course, endurance order very strong at level one, much stronger perhaps than the level one war stomp because, as you can see, it gives you move speed and it also gives you attack speed. Very nice to have both of those, and it also helps with creeping much better than war stomp would. So. That's why you can see that being picked up here. We do see the Blade Master as well as the other army coming in. Wand of Illusion, a very nice pick right there for that item. And as you can see, just some more creeping going on down here. However, the main ogre has already been killed by the Blade Master, and so Lin already got the item really out of this camp. Now here we can see that the Blade Master is coming down here. And he's just going to walk right by. I don't know. I believe he saw that probably. And he's just going to go see what's going on. Maybe just kind of seeing where he can scout things scout things out. Gonna go ahead and wake up this creep camp and get it onto the Ancient of War. He's gonna try to take out this Ancient of War. It looks like he's gonna be able to do that, no problem. The, the, uh, the Demon Hunter as well as the Beastmaster coming back or coming down here to do some damage. Um, you can see a fairy fire going off onto the Blade Master. However, he is very dedicated to killing that Ancient of War and he does go ahead and force the Ancient of War to go down. Uh, with fairy fire on him, of course, the elf does have vision of him and it lowers his armor. So he does know where this Blade Master is at all times and if we like to see that you can see this is Lin's vision or no I'm sorry reminds vision and as you can see this is from his vision he can see the blade master due to the fairy fire um, so it's a very very strong spell and like go ahead and put that back on to one of the observers views and now you can see that the blade master is just hanging around this shop uh, and that does serve a couple of purposes it's nice for a remind to know that the blade master is so very close but it's also a little bit intimidating. He's like, you know what? Uh, that Lin is saying, you know what? My hero's right here, and I know that you know my hero's right here, but that's just because my army's right nearby. Uh, that's one of the many things you can do. You can see, or, you know, do a little bit of intimidation. So it's like, it's not it's not all good to have vision of your opponent at all times. It generally is a good thing. Uh, definitely more advantageous than unadvantageous, I would imagine. But here we can see a little bit of a skirmish going on. I believe one of the uh, the fairy, the uh, druids of the talons did die over there a second ago, and we can see another one being picked off. Wand of Illusion being used basically just to cause lots of havoc as far as how many units are in play. Uh, I'm just trying to block what's going on here. I'm pretty sure that Remind knows which one is the real one. However, these are being used basically just as blockers, and I think they also have Spirit Link on them, uh, or at least one of them does which means they also happen to count as extra units for the Spear Link, which is really good. And here we can see um, Remind taking quite a bit of damage in his base right here. Not a good position for Remind to be in. He has not got his Master Cyclone just yet. Uh, however, the Blade Master also taking quite a bit of damage, and the Blade Master being forced to run away a little bit there. Uh, lots of damage going off. However, this Demon Hunter is out of position here. He's not in range of as well. Very, very close to it, but not quite. And he was ensnared. Is he going to be able to use it? Um, Let's go ahead and get that off, and he's running right back into his base. These these two very large uh, units right here, the Torn Chieftain Illusions, doing a lot of to block right here, and you can see even more being going off. Wow! So now there are four, and as you can see, there's really not a whole lot that uh, Remind can do about this. He's just kind of stuck in his base right now uh, by these illusions, and he can't really get go back into his base too much farther. And uh, but. Uh, Doing what he can do, one of the, another uh, another Druid of the Talon going down, and we can see a ensnare going off onto the Demon Hunter, and it looks like the Master Training is done. We have a Cyclone going off, but not really doing too much. Um, but another Druid of the Talon going down, the Demon Hunter taking quite a bit of damage. Here comes the Blade Master, and the Blade Master has an Invulpot as well as a Healing Scroll. However, he and he uses the Invulpot, and it looks like the the Demon Hunter very very close to dying. The Demon Hunter having to run away out of, away from his base. The Demon Hunter does get surrounded a little bit there, and he dies. So there goes the Demon Hunter, and in fact, GG is called, so that's a good game right there. Um, as you can see, the Lin going ahead and finishing off because th those units, um, of course, he left the game, but it was just fr it, it, the, the Observer bug. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah, that's what happened there. Anyway, as you can see, we see the overview. That was game two, so it's 1-1 one, one currently, and uh, so we'll see what happens in the next game. So game three, which will probably be right up here. There'll be a little linky clicky. You can click it. Click it. Click it.